Hello, everybody on the YouTubes. Welcome to another fireside chat style video. Uh, the last time we did one of these, I mentioned uh, time schedule just due to a new job. Well, that time schedule really hasn't worked out, but but but, but we're gonna we're gonna get to all that here in a minute. Um, I just wanted to say. A quick shout out and a thank you to you guys that uh, uh, subscribe that still watch my channel um, and all that jazz. You guys are mega legends and I appreciate you. Um, I did record a Borderlands 3, 3 video kind of explaining what this video is, um, but it didn't encompass all my thoughts really. And I want to just kind of sit down before I actually do have to head off to work in like five minutes to give you my thoughts <laughs> so uh we're kind of going down the subscriber mountain right now um i peaked at 881 and we are back to 866 and i don't doubt that the number is going to keep dropping um i have a couple of theories behind that uh, one of which being that when people see that, <clears throat> excuse me, Astrid Nebula uploaded a Borderlands 3 video, they're going to see the name Astrid Nebula and they're not going to know who the hell Astrid Nebula is. Um, and for anybody that comes back to watch this, well, you're watching MKID 75, bud. <laughs> uh, a lot of people don't realize that I went from MKID 75 to Nebula to... Astrid Nebula. Um, the whole reason being was more of a maturity factor and more of a, a way to really brand myself if I ever got really huge. You know, I didn't want to be known as, you know, MKID, MKID75, because that's a name that I created when I was 11 years old. And so I thought to myself, okay, what's a, what's a name that you really want to go by that doesn't sound like an 11 year old created it? Um, and so I thought more about it. I thought more about like my favorite things and granted I removed the dinosaur aspect of that and I'm like, you know what? I like the name Nebula. And of course Nebula realistically came from my RPG character Astrid Nebula, which later changed the whole channel around into that name because of a Rainbow Six thing. But uh not not to to go too much down that topic. Um when you're watching Astrid Nebula videos, you're also watching Mkin75 videos. There's there's no difference between the two. It's just the name. That's that's it. I'm still Jimmy. I'm still, you know, I'm kid. Still, if you really want to go far back, Shadow Ranger. But um, nobody really knows me by that anymore. But anyway, um, going on to scheduling. I am live now in the mornings and afternoons. I will not be going live at 11.30 midnight because I'm dog-ass tired and my schedule at Samsung tends to fluctuate week to week. So one, one week I can be on a completely normal 40-hour schedule of 12.30 to 11 o'clock uh, Eastern Time or I could be going on 10-hour weeks going 4.30 to 3 a.m. And they can throw in Saturdays and Sundays too, which are 2.30 two, uh, two to 11 shifts. So it, it just depends on customer demand. and It depends on what they want my line to output. Um, now, my line's a bit slower, so... Hey, bigger payday for me. That's why I, my whole time schedule seems reversed and... Why you don't see me really playing with Dan and Brett and Vlad as much. Um, if you're wondering about that. Yeah. Um, another thing is I don't stream to YouTube anymore. And uh, the biggest, best reason that I can give you for that is I don't like streaming on YouTube. Because YouTube doesn't have all the integrations that my Twitch channel has. It doesn't have all the... Like, the, the really cool stuff um, that you can do with Twitch, loot drops, and uh, integrations such as uh, being able to view a character um, without having the ask the streamer to pull them up. 
Uh, and that can and that works with Destiny. That works like Borderlands. Um, let's see if I can't show you guys really quick. If I go to, uh, I don't think they have that option anymore to view that. But anyway, take my word for it. You go on my channel um, when I'm streaming Borderlands Three. Or, but yeah, especially Borderlands 3, and you could actually interact with the game with me. So, there are events in the game, such as rare loot, rare loot chest events, to where if you have your Gearbox account hooked up to uh, your Twitch account, and you see loot that I have in my game that you really, really want, say like a really fucking cool legendary comes out, um, you could participate in this rare uh, loot chest event to where you're pulled in with a bunch of other players and it selects people to win exact copies of what you see in my loot box uh there's pinata events which viewers can decide what what's within the pinatas uh there's badass events hammerlock will come on and say hey there's a badass in the area that your players can take control of and when i say can take control of you guys have the ability to level them up to heal them to Make them do double damage, just all sorts of fun shit that you would like to throw against me to make the boss more challenging. Um, it 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 gets really really cool and really really interactive. Um, and as I said prior, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to ask me to say, hey, what's your build? You know, what guns do you have on your character right now? You know what, what? What's your what's your level? You know you, you can just pull that up with the with the viewer. You know you you can go okay click button oh okay so this is his gun this is his build. I think that's really really cool that that echo cast um, thing is there and it kind of is the same premise with uh, some Destiny extension that I have for Destiny too, but. That leads me into the next and final topic of this fireside chat video. I'm going back to Borderlands videos. And I'm going back to Borderlands streams and videos almost exclusively. Um, I'm trying to get an affiliate on Twitch. That is my goal. I want to be able to do more and more with Twitch, but that means I have to get deeper and deeper into their affiliate and a, a associate and partnership programs um, which are more extensive and I think overall better than what YouTube has to offer on their platform um, that means if you guys are wanting to catch me live uh, that means you guys are gonna have to come over to twitch.tv slash Astrid Nebula to watch that stuff um, like I said, I'm going back to primarily only Borderlands content, so Borderlands 1, 2, 3, TPS. Uh, I'll be streaming and uploading videos too, um, and it's a factor of really numbers. I want to be able to get a community going again to where people want to come back and want to watch the Borderlands content or watch my channel's content enough so that people will want to stick around for more games that I want to play, you know. So right now, it, it's kind of a build it back up process for me. I've got to go back to, I've got to come back to home base uh, in order to do this. So if you guys really like Borderlands content, if you guys want to watch more Siren plays, um, more just Borderlands content in general, minus the guns lurking, then twitch.tv slash Ash and Nebula. Otherwise... All that content on Twitch. Oh, excuse me. Itchy eyebrows today. All that content will be bolstered back over to YouTube. But with YouTube, it's just a replay, so you won't be able to interact with it. That's all I have to say for now. Um, I'll probably be live maybe around 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to uh, about 1 p.m. We'll make that kind of a stagnant schedule, hopefully. Um, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to do that for you guys. But otherwise, have yourself a nice day.
and we'll see you in the next video. Adios.